Next, Jeff. Hi, everybody. Does everyone know what this place is? Does anyone know what this place is? Any ideas? Yes, it is Thomas Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory, or Thomas Edison's Maker Space. This brings out my inner Carl Sagan space. And who is this? Oh, I've prepared some. Yeah, right. And what is that she's got? It's her kitchen. It's her maker space. Uh, see, I'm very passionate about maker spaces because I think that they are great places for learning and developing your skills. Oh, wait, look. This is our maker space, the Mount Elliott maker space. And these are excellent places for developing skills and knowledge, but I also think for social, per excuse me, personal and economic growth. So, believing this, I actually moved to Detroit and went into the basement of a church because that's where people congregate and developed a maker space called Mount Elliott maker space. These are our concentration areas. By listening to community members, we decided on them, electronics, transportation, digital me media, and wearables. So to describe these a little bit, <clears throat> we've got some beautiful pictures coming. This is PJ. PJ is actually involved in Breakmake. He's actually making a mouse car. We uh, all bashed apart some electronics, took some things out like motors and switches, and found some batteries, and he decided to make a car out of these things. We did this with a bunch of people. They really loved it. Uh, this is Raven. We set the expectation you need to teach somebody else. Raven is 10. We uh, taught her how to solder. She's teaching a German journalist how to solder. She's taught 100 people. No, now about 150 people how to solder. So that's pretty solid. We like that. Um, this is actually moving out of the basement, which gets depressing in the winter in Detroit, and actually uh, working with wind turbines outside. So this is quite enjoyable for all ages. As you can see, all ages are represented. And people come by on the street and actually take a look and see what's going on. So they're very interested. So it's a good way to do community learning. In transportation, we have bicycles. This is our earn a bike program. Elisha, the younger guy, already earned his bike, and now he's teaching his mother how to earn her bike by taking one apart, fixing it, and then they earn their own bike. And they help us out a little bit with stuff as well. This is Raven again. She's soldering something for King Wayne. King Wayne is the head of the East Side Riders, it's a bike club in Detroit. We brought him along because he's providing a role model for younger people. They ride along in this big bike club. They've got stereos on their bikes. They make a lot of noise. That's also a spider. So now everybody wants a stereo on their bike. We can't possibly provide that, but we can provide a $12 kit that is solder it yourself, and you can put it in a coffee can. So these guys made their own bike amp, and now they're riding around making all sorts of noise. I'm not sure if that's been so popular. But um, digital tools and social media. This is Charles actually teaching people about the anatomy of a computer, how to reload them. We've actually worked out some computer donations. So now we've got people earning computers as well as earning bikes, and we've trained trainers to keep training trainers and so on and so forth. This is Bobby and Dwight. Uh, they're now doing performances every Sunday in the church. They actually got on GarageBand, figured it out. I didn't teach them how to do it. They're now there every waking moment. And by the way, Dwight was in juvenile hall for a while. Bobby actually was marked for death and was going to be killed. He had to move out of the neighborhood. Now he's back. Now they're doing something which is great. Uh, this is Caitlin, who actually started interviewing all the makers in the makerspace. This is, again, a digital tool, learning how to do video authoring. Unfortunately, she deleted all of her footage by accident, so we're still working. Yeah, sad. But that they're interested is great. In wearables, we're doing screen printing. This is also awesome. Um, we, instead of somebody going out and buying or paying somebody else to screen print, they came and learned how to do screen printing from us. We trained them. They're training other people. It's kind of like kudzu of skill growth, which is very exciting. Um, Turns out Dwight is actually also a great artist. He wrote his name on a piece of paper once. I said, whoa, dude, you need to come and learn how to do shirts. Uh, notice the East Side Rider shirts behind us. That's the way we exchange with uh, King Wayne. So he comes, teaches about bikes and stereos. And uh, we can help him print shirts. Uh, this is Raven again. Raven said one day, uh, Jeff, I want to make a sari. I'm like, Raven, what is a sari? She's like, it's an Indian dress. I'm like, oh, a 10-year-old just taught me what about Indian culture. I think that's pretty awesome. So, uh, so anyways, she did make her own sorry. And this is John, Detroit, filled with retired folks with skills. Um, John came along, he built our wood shop, and now he's teaching people woodworking for free. We did not pay him to do this. It's pretty amazing. So this is really working out in Detroit, actually. I think it's incredibly amazing. I really envision a future, which is a network of maker spaces. It's really hel helping people learn, but it's helping people also develop confidence in themselves and confidence amongst their community. People are getting together. They're learning from each other. But they're also, they're also building a really 
powerful and strong community culture. And I think that's actually one of the most important things that's happening. See, we can't control a lot of the things that happen at home with a lot of these kids or even a lot of older people. But we can start to create a more supportive community environment. And when you've got a supportive community that loves you and you're making stuff, and you've got a community that is cherishing what you do and celebrating that, powerful things happen. Uh, this is Dejer, she's seven. She actually did rebuild that bike, and this was just halfway through. So it's, it's going very well. So please check us out, not only in Makerspace. Thanks a lot.